So uh, we're here, ready to record. Tall Poppy Studios in Salisbury, Brisbane. Google them if you're a Brisbane band. Best jam rooms around. Awesome studio as well, so definitely check them out. Scotty Chaos is gonna be sitting right there, playing some guitar. Nev's in the, in the other room, as I'm sure you've already seen. And yeah, I'm, uh, I don't think anything is actually on yet, but yeah, tuned in ready to go, so looking forward to it. Should be fun. Okay, cool. Let's see how the camera. Divine Executions a, is a pretty, uh, I guess you can say a feel-good metal band. We mirror bands like um, Lamb of God, All Shall Perish, Blue Machine Head, Chimera, Kill Switch Engage, Times of Grace. Basically bands that just like to play good music and just like to have fun on stage and that's what we do. I met Divine Execution at another studio I was jamming at. My band at the time, Phoenix and Carnip, was rehearsing. and. Uh, I met Scotty Chaos, who's the guitarist for Divine Execution, and Pete, who does vocals. Well, they were looking to complete a lineup, and I had listened to their music and absolutely loved what they did. The drummer for Phoenix Incarnate, Nev, was looking for a second project as well, so I got him on board, and that's how the four piece was formed. Uh, a couple of months later, uh, Scotty Chaos contacted Nads. They used to jam in a band called Raw Machine. Um, a couple of years ago, so got her on board, and that's how Divine Execution became a five piece. We have one basic concept behind the band, and that is just to play music that we think we will have a good time playing on stage. 
and that we think people will enjoy while we're on stage. So nothing super technical or complex. It's just easygoing riffs that people will hopefully find fun to headbang to and have a bit of a motion, you know, get a circle pit or two going and basically riffs that we have fun playing with as well. That's the basic concept behind it. Have fun and the rest will follow. I don't think Divine Execution sounds exactly like any other band that's out there. We do have a fairly unique sound. My influences with bass are quite varied. Um, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers is the reason I picked up a four string in the first place. And he may not be very metal, but Victor Wooten's also a huge influence. But as far as metal goes, um, Ryan Martin, Martin from Mudvayne's a huge influence, Paul Green from Slipknot, rest in peace, um, played a huge part on my bass playing as well. Um, Lamb of God's John Campbell, he's extremely, extremely talented, the way he plays follows along with all of them. And that's what I try to do, basically um, try and follow along uh, the riffs that Scotty Chaos and Nads are playing and sometimes bring my own riffs to the table. I basically try to accentuate what Nev does as well because as we know the rhythm section of any band is super important so uh, trying to mesh along with what he does and yeah try and follow Scotty Chaos and Nads. Oh man, Divine Execution, the members, each one of them are just uniquely amazing in their own way. Um, Nev for example on drums I used to jam with him in Phoenix Incarnate and Phoenix Incarnate lasted about 12 months before we split up and now we're in Divine Execution to just see how much better he's gotten um, in that time and to see how he's progressed his double kicks, his rolls, his fills and that man will put a drum beat to anything and make it unique. We use swing beats in some of Divine Execution's music but we metal it up. That's what I love about Nev. Um, Scotty Chaos is special, that guy. Um, he will make a metal riff out of anything. A lot of the riffs that I present to the band have a very punk or alt rock feel to it. And while most people will, you know, be quick to shun it or go, hey, that's not, you know, that's not metal, we'll put it aside. Scotty Chaos takes it away for a week or two weeks and comes back and it is just the most metal thing you've ever heard. Um, Nads, have you heard that girl's solo? Holy shit, man. Listen to the music. She's amazing at solos and just putting her own touch on things, her own spin on the music as well. And Pete, I, I don't know how he does it, man. That guy's fucking tiny, but you listen to him growl and it's just out of this world. Where he gets that power from, I have no idea. But he does it and he does it with such intense passion that it just carries forward in his music, in his vocals. And I absolutely love that about him. So they're, they're all unique in their own ways and you know put together I think it's it's something really special. The metal scene in Brisbane at the moment is fairly strong. Um, lots of bands coming out, lots of good music. What I think we bring to the table is just good time music. A lot of bands out there will laboriously try to work on their songs to try and you know come up with something that they think sounds good and there's nothing wrong with that absolutely you know absolutely do that there's absolutely nothing wrong with it but Divine Execution just likes to, like I said before, play music that we think we'll have a good time playing on stage. Whether it's complex or not, whether it's, it has groove or not, whether it's fast or not, we don't care. If we think we'll have a good time playing it on stage, we will play it in a song. And that is what we hope everyone else will get into as well. The demo is basically the first three songs we ever wrote as a band. And I feel it's going to come across as a good progression of how far we've come as a band even though we've been um, a five piece for only about four or five months um, you'll see you any music lover any metal lover will be able to see that or will be able to recognize the first track we ever wrote as a band because it's as basic as it can be and then it only starts getting better and better with the other two tracks and you see the progression so that's what I expect to see with the demo solid music but a progression and then hopefully we just keep going up from, from there on with any more songs that we write. Our demo 15 Minutes of Pain, we've um, recorded here at Tall Poppy Studios in Salisbury in Brisbane. If you're a Brisbane band, great people to work with, super flexible and super prof professional as well. So check us out on Facebook, just Divine Execution. We should come up there, give us a like, listen to our music. So definitely make sure you come down and have a mosh with us. And we look forward to seeing you there.
Nabs, I'm one of the guitarists from Divine Execution and we're here at Tall Poppy Studios currently recording our demo. Um, my main influences will be Kill Switch Engage, Chimera and Machine Head. Um, definitely mainly have a Machine Head influence. Their solos would probably be the most dominant in my solos, so it's definitely a big influence. The goal or direction for the demo would be mainly to just get out our music to people that have been wanting to hear it, just kind of take the first step and hopefully from there just keep going as far as we possibly can. Uh, well, Divine Execution is a combination of members from of Raw Machine, from Nemestire and Phoenix Incarnate. Uh, me personally, I've been playing guitar for 10 years now. Um, it's, I've known these guys for a while, so it's really good to play with them again. Um, the demo is going good. It will be good to take it to the stage soon, start playing gigs around Brisbane and hopefully interstate. And then overseas, take over the world, or domination. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Our demo is called um, 15 Minutes of Pain. Check it out, check us out on Facebook. Um, we'll definitely get our music out on all the other pages like Reverb Nation and Bandcamp, so check us out there. Um, well, we're currently at Tall Poppy Studios just finalising um, everything that we need to, so yeah, check us out. Yeah, I can't hear ya. <laughs> um, he, thinks he, really good up until then. Well, like that, the part I, I noticed is um, fucking when we go into the, the um, half of that bar is like a standard beat and then it just jumps in a double kick, so like halfway through he's that He's done that all, he's done that all along. No, 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 this was different. It was like solid double kicks. They kept up. 
I got lost, but if we stayed a bit, it might be good enough. I was real happy with them, just having each trouble. Yeah. Oh, It needs to just fucking chill out, eh? I think there's some parts he's trying to play too quick. That quality is unreal, even though it hasn't even been touched. No, you should hear this shit. He's actually mastered it. Yeah. Sounds like a production quality fucking, you know, like you've just spent 30 grand on a fucking album yeah. or something, you know, it's unreal. So, just chill out. Yeah, like, I don't know. Keep, yeah, like, keep track of where you're up to and what you're doing. Yeah. But, you know, I, I can follow you. You know, even if you do drop down on those last bit, as yeah. long as you keep them in time the whole way through, I'll just follow that. You know? So I think my guitar part will get scrapped anyway. And then I'll just record the whole he said he, if you can't do a metal one, you can edit that one. Because once you overlap all the guitars, you might not hear that bit. Uh, nah, I want to get it. I want to get it. I think he's trying to fight time too much as well. No. It's, it's too late, so they have to all that shit out. It's like, oh, it's really good. Oh my god, that cliche again. My, 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 my inner vegan. <laughs> I don't allow it. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not bad considering, man. It's not bad considering. I've been practicing fucking hardcore all week. I think it'll probably go <coughs> to the, um... You sure? Over here. <coughs> I can get it to the Randall. If you want, you're welcome to tune my other guitar. Where is it? Just get there. In the smaller case. Um. 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 Better. Well, we'll give it a go see how it sounds. Second one again. Second one? It goes a bit too long.
like to fade down a little. I don't know. I'm gonna put on like a um. I don't know. <laughs> We will point it lock. Play the drums. Scotty Chaos, guitar. Um, well, for me, it'd be hard to put like a uh, genre to my drumming. Um, my influence started as hip hop, I suppose. I like uh, the swing jazz beats, so I use a lot of uh, swing patterns. The drumming for Divine Execution um, is bringing out uh, a bit of death metal drumming, followed by uh, groove drumming, which I'm new to, but um, able to use the death metal drumming and the groove drumming with my added on swing beat. Mainly I love anything with a groove, anything metal, um, anything that just makes you want to nod your head. Biggest influences would have to be Camaro, Hatebreed, Machine Edge, Slipknot, uh, anything along those lines. Well first of all I was with the band Venus Incarnate and we were over at Eagle Farm and I was approached by uh, Scotty here uh, asking if I'd like to um, do some drumming for him and at the time I didn't think I was ready or capable of uh, finding the time to play drums out of it like the band I was already in. A few months went by and uh, our bass player uh, Prab come and told me he'd uh, looked at going and playing bass for a, a new band and I was like happy for him and everything and when I found out which band it was I was like oh I might come and try it as well and I actually um, came back to the Eagle Farm studio and uh, met up and had a bit of a jam and liked what I heard so I thought I'd like to be part of it uh, and this is where I am today sitting here. I was living up north of Queensland up in Cairns and uh, me and my fiance had plans to come back to Brisbane and I'd been talking to Pete and Nadine quite a lot and uh, you know we're interested in actually getting something together. Uh, it's, been a long fucking process. Finally here, finally doing it. Couldn't be happier. For me, the drumming patterns are uh, using the groove metal uh, with a bit of swing and jazz uh, rhythms to it. Uh, is it's different. Uh, I don't know if it's different overall, but in Brisbane, I haven't seen much of it. I don't think I've seen any of it. Uh, lots of time signature changes. You know, enough to keep it interesting. Right, personally, I can't exactly say that we're doing much different. It's it's hard to put a label or a genre on it. We you like know, to play. We like to play. You know, we enjoy playing it. Some of our shit starts off very soft, and then other songs just straight into it. You know, kind of you go from anywhere from brutal metal to fucking redneck. 
you know, get a drink in you. I love what we're doing. What I like about Scotty's playing is uh, his, well, first of all, his speed. He's got a, a high speed uh, style of playing, which I like. Um, and his groove patterns are, they're just great. Like, they're groove, so it's, you know, what I like to play to. Well, Prav, uh, Prav covers everything on the base, so, you know, like, I just love everything he does. Nads, uh, I like her, a lot of her ideas and her, her lead plan. Uh, I'm an actual fan of Parkway Drive myself, so I'm a big fan of Breakdowns, which she introduced a breakdown to one of our songs, which uh, I, I thought was a great idea. And yeah, her lead guitar is great. So. Pete's great, he's got a real brutal scream. Like, it's just, to me, it's just metal. Uh, as Nev said about Peter, um, Peter. 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 <laughs> the guy's a fucking whack job. He comes up with some ideas and you think to yourself, what the fuck are you on about, man? Like, are you sure? And then you hear it on the studio and you actually really see in my eyes and as someone else has already said in his old band, the guy's a lyrical genius. He comes up with shit that I'd never even think of. Nev, you know, some days we just have these random jams that come out of fucking nowhere. You know, we'll play anything that comes to our head and we put it together as if it's been rehearsed right on the mark. Prav, Prav and Nads, actually. I'll get stuck with writing a riff and they'll introduce me to something that they've had for a while and it sparks an idea that just becomes this awesome riff. Definitely without those two, I would not be able to think of half the stuff that I've come up with for this band. Um, yeah, well, tonight actually we're recording our demo. I'm looking forward to hearing the, the final product which we're doing here at uh, Tall Poppy Studios, uh, which I'd like to actually thank them if they see this video. Uh, we appreciate all they've done for us. It's a pleasure coming here. I'd like to thank Nathan, Gareth and Hannah at Tall Poppy. They're all great people and they've been over backwards to really give us something that we're going to be happy with. It's a great place. It's very professional, very open-minded to absolutely anything that you play. I highly recommend it. I'd like to thank my band members for the excruciating pain and <laughs> the amount of fuck-ups that we took this night to actually get it happening and not giving up. Uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you that will support us and really dig what we're doing because because we dig it. We dig it, you know. You... Yeah, me and myself, I get a lot of enjoyment out of uh, playing the music, so I hope the enjoyment that I get reverts onto the crowd, like enjoying it as much as I like playing it. Come and have a drink with us, you know. Well, they're pretty easy going dudes and chick. You know, we, we hope to completely destroy the stage, whatever venue we have. I'm not leaving that stage unless I'm sore, sweaty, and getting really fucking drunk. Sweaty balls. <laughs> <laughs>
dead of night. Scott and Ads with our own war machine and when that band started to fall apart, Scott and I had spoke about making a theatrical uh, metal band called Scarecrow, which we kind of started on and then kind of, it never really got anywhere. So after a while we searched around and tried to look for members to start something different and that's when we met Neb and Crab, the bassist and drummer. We were also in Phoenix Incarnate and we kind of just got started from there. Okay. And uh, Nads have been off doing other stuff, but then we brought her back in and it's been golden ever since. In the metal scene at the moment, it mainly, it seems to be populated by a lot of thrash bands and uh, tech death bands. And they're all, they're all great at what they do, but I think because we're more, we're more groove oriented, I think we'll kind of stand out for that. I think everyone is absolutely fucking spot on with what they do, um, except for me. Um, and, you know, I mean, personally, you know, I mean, Prav's funny as hell. Fucking Scott is, you know, 110% with everything he does. And fucking Nads is a wicked little guitarist. And, you know, um, Nev is probably um, the probably the biggest perfectionist I've ever met in a drummer I and mean, you know nothing's ever fucking right everything you know has to be done again until he nails it everyone's really fucking focused on what they do and it's awesome you know, the CD's going to be called 15 minutes of pain um, which I came up with simple, simply because this well, the tracks I think are roughly five minutes each so it'll run for 15 minutes and you know this is the start of our 15 minutes of fame or whatever, so I just thought it was a cool name. So we are Divine Execution, at you from Tall Poppy Studios in Brisbane. 15 Minutes of Pain should be out, and yeah, look out for it. 